Many gardeners are considering hydroponics for producing food for the table and also some of their flowers. But, you know, they've often been led to believe it's very costly and takes a lot of time. But Ed Thralls, our residential horticulturist, is here, and he has an easy way to do hydroponics. Ed, thanks for bringing all this in here. Uh -oh. I, I thought we were going to do a little waiting in the <laughs> little kiddie pool here. <laughs> we could. We could remove the plants and we could have a good old time. Yeah, I think the first thing you need to tell us is what is hydroponics actually? Well, hydroponics means working water. But uh, for the most part, most people think of hydroponics as growing plants in a liquid nutrient, uh, li nutrient rich liquid like water as opposed to using soil or other media. You brought a kiddie pool. That is Waiting a pool. kiddie pool garden <laughs> and it works very, very well. Yeah, so now you have the kiddie pool here, fairly heavy duty, and what's on top here? This is styrofoam, <laughs> styrofoam sheet that you can buy at a big box store. Uh, they come in four foot by eight foot uh, lengths and uh, cut them in half you can get another wading pool. You can build two of them. Yeah. Now, what is the most expensive item? We were tossing around a little bit and everybody was saying styrofoam. At this time of year, the most expensive item was the kiddie pool. Okay. Uh, it was almost twice as much as an eight foot sheet of styrofoam. Yeah. So what we're telling people, shop around. You, know, you can <laughs> shop around and get some good deals on this here. Uh, now, where do we start? I know we got a drill over there. We do. We're drill uh, some we, holes. The most important tool I had to get was a hole saw and mm -hmm. I needed to match the hole saw with the type of cup I was going to use to hold the plants okay. out of the water. That's just here. Now, I guess the other question, I know where to get the hole saw, right. but where do you get these little cups like uh, that? You can get those little pots at a hydroponic store mm -hmm. locally, or you can go online and just Google net pot. Mm -hmm. Now, also, you have an option of using styrofoam cups, right? You can use styrofoam coffee cups as long as they're the right diameter. You cut three or four small triangles out of the bottom, and you can stick them in there. They'll do the same thing. Okay, so here's what we do. we're going to do, we did do in this case, is we go down and we just drill a hole right down in here. And as you told me one time, don't put your hand underneath it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it, we just take the drill, we go down on the drill, and we cut that hole out of there. And how do you know how far to space them? I, I see there's some spacings on these here. Uh, in this case, we'd like to space them about 12 inches apart, but that wouldn't give us enough plants. So I went and took a ring on the outside, I spaced them eight inches, then I spaced six inches, and then I put one in the center. So okay. they get a little closer as you go to the okay, center. Okay, we have to tell everybody we're growing lettuce, and uh, lettuce is a quick crop, right? It is a quick crop. You can get lettuce in about 35 to 45 days. Wow, that's neat. Now, where does it start from there? We've got the hole, I've got the basket. Then I and, need the plants. Yeah, and we got and to a little... I can grow my plants. Sevens. I can use these Jiffy 7 pellets that expand like this, or I can go... Let's up. take a look at these here sure. real quick here. And these little pellets are available at garden centers. They are. At every garden center I've been to has them. Yeah, and you put it in water and it expands just like Three this here. Three or four times its normal size and it's perfect for putting a little seed of lettuce right okay. in the top. So the seed goes right in there. Do you put more than one seed? or? I can put enough. more than one seed if I'm not sure I'm using fresh seed. Okay, so if you're cheap like me, you're <laughs> going to put in one seed, right? Exactly. Yeah. Now, you've started them in something else over here. Uh, this is a new uh, material. It's called rock wool. It's uh, superheated rock, spun like cotton candy, and set in a form. And as you can see, it has a hole in the top, just like our Jiffy pellet does, but it's sterile and it holds a lot of water. Okay. You can start your seedlings. And of course, once they start growing, look at those roots going through there. I know. <laughs> Us horticulturists are amazed by roots, let me tell you. But they're really coming out nice and looking well. Uh, one seedling again down inside? One seedling again, huh? Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take that one little seedling's growing. How long does it take to get to this stage? Uh, it takes about a uh, week and a half to two weeks. Okay, we can have two weeks. It's ready to go down into the little basket like we have here, and then we'll just set it right down the hole. And I guess you make sure it's snug. Now the roots are going down into water. Uh, water will be in the bottom of the pool here. Water will be in the pool, and we'll also have some liquid nutrients uh, like a plant food that's very well soluble and some Epsom salt. Two teaspoons of the plant food, one teaspoon of Epsom salt per gallon. It's okay. about 36 gallons in this pool. So you're going to put that much in. It's going to be 36 teaspoons, wherever it is. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you have to refresh that periodically? You should refresh it whenever you harvest your plants, or at least make sure that the next set of plants are growing well, and then add as needed. Okay. Now, we put this plant in here. How long is it going to take to be something like this? It'll take about 35 days, and you will know that it's doing well. Not only will it grow in size at the top, but you can also see 
a very good root system wow. here in the roots bottom again. as it comes out. <laughs> Isn't that neat how those roots grow like when that? When this reaches maturity, those roots will be about 8 to 10 inches long laying in the wow. bottom of that pool. how about that? It's just amazing that we can grow plants like that. And so we just harvest it off and then we'll go ahead and eat it. Now, if you want more information, I guess you have more information about this at Absolutely. the office. Absolutely. There will be a uh, worksheet, a uh, fact sheet that can come pick up, and hopefully it'll be a new EDIS publication for the University of Florida. Well, it looks fairly inexpensive and a good way to do it. So yes, thank so you for being with us on that there. Uh, so if you want to grow some of your own food or maybe some flowers also, you can do it with a kiddie pool, some styrofoam, some nutrients, some water, and some seeds, and look at what you're going to get. Wouldn't that be neat? Call the Extension office, get a bulletin, and learn how to do it yourself. It's fun.